What's up, everybody? So, Russ with RWG Research here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, this video is going to be kind of a collection of videos, probably starting with this one. I want to show you how the gas gun is going to be put together. Um, so, as you've seen before, you've seen these little pieces that I've made. All right, I went ahead and used the ones I had. And um, what I've done is that's uh, stainless, and I have an electrode inside there, which hopefully, yeah, there you go. You can see it all the way through the center, all right? And then on the other side, I have the other, it's going to try to focus on me. I have the other piece, okay? And it's also silver soldered. Now, the reason I silver soldered that is so I can make an electrical connection. Right here on the side, there is a screw hole. And if I turn it around, right here on the other side, another screw hole. That connects to the outside electrode. This connects to the inside electrode. Alright, so silver soldered those together, and the electrode that I have inside here right now is actually a piece of, um, for TIGging, it's for it's stainless filler rod for TIGging, TIG welding. Um, it's stiff, it holds its straightness, and then all I had to do is make everything fit right, solder it. Um, so that's what I did, and then I slid it into this tube. Now, I got really lucky, <clears throat> I've been looking for a mesh disc for an electron extraction type circuit. I looked around for a little while, couldn't really find what I wanted, so um, oh, I, I did, but it was online, I had to buy it and stuff through McMaster Car. Well, I decided I'm going to go to Home Depot. Oh, no, excuse me, went to Lowe's. Um, I don't really like Home Depot. So I went to Lowe's, and guess what? I knew that these were already like this, but didn't really realize the sizes. This is a dishwasher, I'm sorry, a, a faucet, a sink faucet, aerator. Okay, and if you take this aerator apart, this particular one is a, call it like a double aerator. Um, and if you take this apart, there's an old seal in there. Okay. I really don't know what this is made out of, but they had just these mesh screens. This one's not mesh, but they had mesh ones, but they were gold like plated. I don't know what it was made out of, so I didn't buy it. So I bought the whole head, it's only like three bucks. And this is what's inside. You get a really, really fine mesh and two bigger meshes. And what's very interesting about these mesh screens, um, I truly believe that things happen for a reason. And these screen meshes, this mesh actually fits exactly inside here. Okay, so that right there, my friends, is whenever something like this happens, it's supposed to happen. So there you go. So I don't have to cut these. I don't have to find them. They're 15 sixteenths. Right? So what the heck? 15 sixteenths. That's the thread. I don't know what size these are, but... So, uh, that is... fits exactly inside here. So that's what I'm going to be using as my extraction grid and I'm going to be machining some parts now for these so we'll continue this um, assembly process basically there's outer electrode slots cut in it then you've got these end caps which hold all these pieces just right and there's also uh, edges cut in there and then these edge pieces they allow the gas to flow through okay right through that so right now this is the building of the gas gun here's the beginning part I'll continue this when I get to it. it. May even be another day for all I know. Alright, so continuing on the hydrogen gas gun. I don't remember if I actually showed you this. So I silver soldered these grids together. And I've attached this little wire attachment. Alright, I might have to do a little bit of adjustment. But that's the electron extraction grid. Okay. And then this piece right here I just made. This is an interesting one. Uh, three holes with a like a cup in the bottom. And uh, you can see there's a little center hole and there's three big holes. Now, the reason I wanted that is because I wanted this all right, to sit inside here with them holes in just the right spot 
all right and with those holes in just the right spot um, basically it has less potential for uh, electricity jumping to my grid up there um, that center hole is actually for the little silver solder point that I have down here so that sits like that this sits on top of here like that and I've got this rubber bushing and plastic bushing all these things are going to sit on top of each other and then I'm going to put a screw terminal right into that wire that's going to be my electrical connection through my tube so there you go that's how this is going to be going together and we'll continue on alright so very quickly we're going to attempt to assemble this gas gun <laughs> alright try this again I gotta get all these holes just right. Alright, now let's go try it. I think it's gonna make it. Ah, yes. Alright. So. Those highs holes line up right there. And now we gotta get this top part extraction grid in here. I don't know about these stainless steel mesh screens yet, that might be a little bit more difficult. <laughs> Perfect. Couldn't ask for much better than that. Now, for this extraction grid. For those of you who are live over there, I'm not looking at anything you're telling me. Oh, this could be bad. To bend this wire out a little bit so it goes through the hole. There we go. In you go. Just like that. That pin lines over that hole. Rubber washer. Something like this. And really, that should be it. Oh, looks like I can go a little bit more. Alright, so now I'm going to set all my screws and we'll be back. Alright, got my screws set in there. Extraction grid in there. Electrical connection right there. That actually worked really well. And the electrical connection to the inner electrode and outer electrode. And we'll move on to assembly. So here I have the LED array and I'm going to slide the LED array onto this piece and if all goes well 
this should just slide past the hard part here. And this is going to be a little bit trickier spot. Hmm. That's about it, really, right there. Nope, a little bit more. Almost to the top of that thing. I'm going to have to turn these just a little. And get them lined up with my holes. So, that's essentially how that assembly fits onto this unit. Alright, so I took those screws back out because I forgot to add these plates. And really what these plates kind of do are like insulators. So I can isolate the screw terminals from each other and possibly help from any sort of electrical arcing. That could go on with this device. That one fits a lot tighter than the other one. It makes it look cool too when it's lit up. It makes it look like some crazy little contraption. So anyway, then the screws go back in. Alright, so this assembly, I have a little plastic thing that came out of that faucet head sitting in there. And uh, it sits on there real well, so I figured what the heck. So basically you put the base on. And, and I don't have all the wires hooked up right now. But you can get the idea of how this thing goes together. That's what I'm trying to show you. So basically this stuff goes in here. I'll have to put the seals a little better. And then these holes down here, these wires come through here and those screws sit in there. That's how you make your electrical connection to those. And then for the top, I'm going to have to do the exact same thing. But this clear tube goes on here. Like this. The top also has an O-ring in it like that. And I may be redoing some of these O-rings, but for now it works. And there you go. A complete assembled hydrogen gas gun. Positive potential on this extraction circuit because I'm positively ionizing the gas. Which means I will be trying to pull away the negative electrons. So the negative electrons will want to go to a positive field. That's where this uh, little mesh grid inside here is where it's going to come in play at. So there you go. The entire assembly. I hope you have enjoyed this. Uh, I hope I've covered enough information there for now. And uh, we'll run some tests and see what happens. So there you go. Peace out guys. God bless. Thank you for your support. Have a good day.